And finally, last but not least, we'll be showing you the non-metallic metals on the model. All right, so now we've finished up the fabric and we're going to move on to the non-metallic metals. So I'll start off with a dark shadow because this will be my base color for my golds. I'm going to move on to a chestnut gold and then a sun yellow. So I start by painting everything brown that's going to be yellow. Um, the straps are fabric so I treated them a little differently than I would the metal parts. But I start off with the dark shadow and a nice base coat for the non-metallic gold. And I've mixed it with a little bit of the chestnut gold. a little bit more chestnut gold now. And with the non-metallic uh, metals, when you paint them, they're obviously metal is very shiny, so you concentrate really quickly up to the color that you want to achieve. In this case, it's the yellow. adding more of the chestnut gold. And on the edges of the sword hilt. And I'm conscious of where my highlights are going to be on the model. So now I'm just bringing in more of the chestnut gold mixed with a little bit of the yellow, just lightening up all those areas that are going to have the, the brightest highlights. <clears throat> and I'm slowly uh, working my way up to that brightest highlight. And Remembering that I need to use a smaller, I need to paint smaller and smaller areas. Again, I'm just going in with that chestnut gold, lightening up the color that I already put down. I'm going to go back in with my brown and touch up that area that I got the light paint into.
and now I'm using a little bit more of that sun yellow with my chestnut gold. It slowly starts to look more and more like a gold medal. A little bit more yellow. I find that working with a non-metallic gold is a little easier for me than, a, than the non-metallic silver. The browns blend better. I'm concentrating that yellow on the very tops of her bracer and on the hilt. Cleaning up my mistake I made there with the brown paint. And now I'm just using the sun yellow itself. The top half of those knee pads get the yellow color because they'll receive the most light. And also the um, the holes on the knee pads will have a bit of a white highlight underneath them because they will also catch the light. And the smaller the area, the brighter your highlight's going to be. So, for instance, on her elbow there, it will have a really bright, concentrated white highlight when I'm done. That's normally the case with the non-metallics with the metals. It's a good rule to stick by.
So now I've come in, I've used a, a little bit of pure white here and I've mixed my pure white with my yellow. And you can see that highlight starting to form. There's my uh, small area, so it's got a nice concentrated highlight on it. And again, the surfaces that are the highest get the highlights, so the edge of the hilt or the handle of the blade. And the edge of the knee pads. And now she's done, her gold parts are done. Now we'll move on to the sword. So for the sword I'm going to be using a black as my base, a stormy gray, a rainy gray, and my brightest gray highlight will be a misty gray. So with the sword, when you're determining your highlights, you have your main highlight on the biggest part of the blade here. And then you have an opposing highlight down at the bottom right there. And your opposing highlight is the highlight that's re being reflected by the ground. And then the one at the top of the blade there will be the one that is from your light source. And so to achieve the non-metallic, I work my way up with the gray colors um, and thin layers to make them all blend nicely. It's a little tricky, it takes a little practice. And I'm starting off with the um, stormy gray. I mean, I have a hard time with the grays sometimes. Um, if I don't let them dry all the way again, I'll, I will get paint halos, the dreaded paint halos that I dislike so much. Um, and there's no way around that besides letting your paint dry fully. I'm just adding the thin layers of the stormy gray to either side. And I also am running a uh, running the gray down the edge of the blade too, which will actually be a white highlight by the by the very end. And I go in and I blend my colors quite a bit to get that nice smooth transition. Here I've added a little bit of the rainy gray to it. And I'm not too worried if I get um, any of the, my lighter colors where I have um, black paint because I just go over with the black paint again and smooth it out. So 
So I let that paint dry and I'm going on to a mix of the stormy gray and the rainy gray. Blending down to that black color. Adding some more rainy gray. Don't go as far on the blade there to get the transition. Working in smaller, smaller areas. And now more of that uh, rainy gray mixed with the misty gray. I'm always mixing up to my highlight. And now I have just almost a straight misty gray on my brush, and I'll smooth that into my blade. Gray right edge there. And I'll just clean that up with the black paint. And I use the same uh, misty gray on the very the tip of the blade, and cleaning up that other edge with the black paint. And now I'm taking that misty gray and I'm just running along the edge of the blade where it would catch the light. And I follow it almost all the way to my uh, opposing highlight at the bottom of the blade there. I'm just cleaning up my transition, blending it a little better. Sometimes I feel like I have too much of a, 
a shadow, so I have to go and lighten it up. And uh, here it's hard to see, but obviously her head's in the way. But I'm just trying to get the very back of the blade. I, I uh, put some gray paint down at the back of the blade. Doesn't have much of a highlight. Same with the under underside. You kind of um, just paint in the bottom with a little bit of gray. Do a little bit of transition. Putting that misty gray back on, I added a little bit of uh, pure white in to the misty gray, so I get that nice shine. And a little bit of that pure white with the misty gray. And I'm adding that last highlight on the edge of the blade with the pure white. I'm going over what I what I. Uh, Paint it on with the misty gray. Just give it a nice bright highlight. And just go and clean up things a little bit more. And she's done! And thank you guys so much uh, for watching. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and you found it useful.